All right, we got another one of these live action remakes from Disney. Let's see how this one fares out. This is Disney's live action adaptation of Dumbo, which back in the day was Walt Disney's fourth animated film. And this one's directed by Tim Burton, who made a lot of stuff, but he also made Alice in Wonderland, which basically kickstarted this entire trend of live action remakes from Disney. But anyway, this movie is sort of a different retelling of the original animated movie. For one, there are no talking animals throughout. It mostly focuses on the human characters with Colin Farrell playing this father, and he just came back from presumably World War I, and his two kids are the ones that actually look after Dumbo. You have Danny DeVito playing the ringmaster, and then you also have Michael Keaton and Eva Green, aka Tim Burton's new Helena Bottom Carter. And that's pretty much all there is to it in terms of a plot description. Now, I actually don't remember the original Dumbo that much. I remember owning it on VHS and watching it many times as a kid, but since then I've never had a desire to rewatch it. In fact, I don't even think I've seen this movie in about 20 years, and I'm 28, so... That's a long time for me to go without watching Dumbo, but I still remember parts of it. I've seen clips of it on YouTube as the years have gone on, but I haven't seen it from beginning to end in a long time. So with this new adaptation, I was kind of sketchy on it because I'm not a fan of this trend of remaking Disney animated movies into live action. But the reason I wanted to give this a shot is because we had The Jungle Book, which is based off one of Disney's older movies, and that was very much a hybrid of the original book while taking elements from the original Disney movie so that it could be its own thing. And from what people have told me, Cinderella does a really good job of that as well, being different enough from the original Disney movie. So I figured, hey, maybe the age gap will help Dumbo. Again, the original animated movie was their fourth film, so uh, you can't really make that original movie, and you certainly can't put in certain elements from that original movie into this one because it would be socially unacceptable. So I had more hope for this than I did some of Disney's other live-action adaptations, and it might actually be tied for the worst one. Words can't actually describe how baffled I was by how bad this movie is. I hated Tim Burton's Alice in Wonderland so much because I loved the original animated movie, and with this movie, I will give it credit that he does try to tell this story from a different perspective because the movie is almost twice as long as the original animated movie, so they have to do new things to retell the story. So there are many elements in this movie that make it different, and I do give it credit for that, but different doesn't mean better. This is a colossal mess. The biggest thing I absolutely hated about this movie was the writing. It is just a horrible script with very terrible dialogue that just states the obvious. Uh, characters will basically just talk about their feelings, they'll point out actions on what's going on to the audience, as if we're dumb enough to not see with our own eyes what's going on. And outside of the dialogue, there's very little character motivation. Things happen throughout the entire movie that don't make a whole lot of sense, and for once, I'm not gonna blame Tim Burton on this, because this is written by Aaron Kruger. And if you don't know who Aaron Kruger is, people will mostly know him for writing the original Ring, which I get people like, I'm not a huge fan of it myself, but he also wrote The Ring 2, Reindeer Games, and Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, and Age of Extinction. You know that one of those movies is my arch enemy. So when his name popped up in the credits and that he was an actual producer on the film as well, I just thought to myself, that makes a lot of sense on why this movie is so horribly written. Now let's get into the characters, because this movie, while Dumbo is the main character, it's not really told from his perspective, it's told from the human's perspective, which is a nice way to make it different from the original animated movie, but there's nothing about these characters that really stands out. Huh? The best one for me is actually Danny DeVito, because he's the one who's having fun, he's the one that fits his character perfectly, Everyone else is just downright boring and just suck any potential magic out of this movie. 
Colin Farrell's not that interesting of a character. Michael Keaton is just a horrible villain uh, in the sense that uh, he has no clear motivation outside of just being evil. He has a terrible hairpiece, and throughout the entire movie, it seems like he can't decide what accent he wants to do because when he first shows up on the screen, he's in his regular American accent, but there are points where he's trying to do a French accent. There are points where he's actually unintelligible, so he didn't know what he was doing throughout this whole movie. Eva Green is there to just basically be Tim Burton's new Barbie doll, the way Helena Bottom Carter once was. But the two worst actors in the movie have to be the kids, especially the daughter. Boy, is she atrocious in this movie. But the reason why she's atrocious is because she has no emotion throughout this entire movie. She and her little brother are the ones that first discover that Dumbo has the ability to fly. And that should be an incredibly magical thing because it's a flying elephant. You see a flying elephant and your first instinct is to go, whoa. Like, you can't believe what you just saw. And when the daughter sees Dumbo flying for the first time, she just looks at him and goes, Hmm. It's like, have you always seen elephants fly? Is this just an everyday occurrence for you? I know I just completely dogpiled on Aaron Kruger and his writing, but I just feel like that old Tim Burton from the days of Pee-wee's Big Adventure, Beetlejuice, Batman, Edward Scissorhands, and Ed Wood, is just gone. I know directors change as their careers go on. They have to grow more mature. But everything that I just loved about classic Tim Burton is not in this movie. The actors don't give good performances. It even looks artificial. The one thing that you always expect from Tim Burton movies is for it to look amazing. And for some reason, this movie just looks so fake, artificial. There are some real sets out there, and there's this huge theme park-like circus that Michael Keaton's character owns that looks amazing. In fact, it just looks like it's ripped straight from Batman the Animated Series which, if you guys don't know, was inspired by Tim Burton's Batman. And again, you have Michael Keaton and Danny DeVito in the same movie, so that's a mini Batman Returns reunion, I guess. So I really don't have much else to say about Dumbo. It's not good. It's not good at all. And to be honest, I wouldn't even say that I hate this movie, because Dumbo himself is actually pretty cute. You do care about this baby elephant, and there's one part in this movie where they do try to recreate one scene between Dumbo's mother and him. It's the part where they recreate one of the songs, Baby Mine, and that got something out of me. Not a whole lot, but it was at least more effective than everything else in the entire movie. So that's probably the best part of the movie when they recreate that moment. The worst part of the movie is I'm not gonna say in full detail what happens, but Michael Buffer is in this movie. And I should downright spoil this moment because of how terrible it is, but I'm not gonna. I'll just say, take his famous catchphrase whenever he's a ring announcer, and just fill in the dots from there. It's, it's absolutely atrocious. And that was the point of the movie where I was like, almost bordering on hating this movie. But the thing that's keeping me from saying burn in hell is the fact that I never actually got angry. In addition to baby mine and my lack of anger in this movie, I'll just say don't waste your money at all. This is not worth your time in any way. In fact, I don't even know if people are anticipating this movie because I don't see this movie being heavily marketed as it would. And it just kind of crept out of nowhere. When I got the invite to see this movie, I was like, Oh yeah, that's coming out. So i am be very curious to see how this movie performs at the box office. So there you go. That's my review for Dumbo. Sorry I couldn't like it, but I tried. I tried giving it a shot. But now I want to hear what you guys have to say about the movie. If you've seen it, what did you think? What are your opinions on the original animated Dumbo? Or how do you feel about Tim Burton doing this at all? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and of course leave a comment. Don't forget to support my Patreon page, follow me on social media. And until next time, this is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one.